in that school. Huge. Right? That's a, a lot of these kids are the only kids in that school. That's what I was like in Canada in 1979. Today, Canada is very different. Very different. Where I live in Brampton, let me tell you, you don't have that many six in schools in Punjab, okay, as we do. Certainly not as many Amrapati six in schools in Punjab as we do. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more as, as I go, go forward. But as I keep talking about these different concepts of Sikhi that I realized over time weren't just uh, academic way kind of things, these are things to apply to your life. What I discovered was when my mom used to say to us, that we had to fulfill those dreams. We weren't going to be average. We weren't going to be second best. We were going to make sure that whatever we did, we excelled at a level that was par excellence. Guru Maharaj tells us, Nishche kar apni jeet ko. Nishcha ki vayat, that's setting a goal. And nishcha na de, kar apni jeet ko. I'm going to succeed because I've set that goal to succeed. I've decided that I'm going to get an A plus and nothing but an A plus in every exam from now to ever. And when I go do my job, I will do that better than anybody has ever done it before. Because irrespective if they remember me or not, they will remember that somebody with a turban and beard was doing it. We started making these college computers in India. We launched a few years ago in India. And people said, geez, first of all, you want to sell tablet computers to rickshawalas? And tablet computers are you know, dominated by Apple and Samsung. Who are you? We said, no, 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 it's a different market. Apple and Samsung isn't selling to those guys. They need these devices because they want to educate their kids. When we started in that market, in a full year, only about 250,000 tablets were being sold in India. Last year, about five million got sold. For the last year and a half, we're the largest supplier of tablets in India. We outsell Samsung, Macromax, Lenovo, Apple, so on and so on. Little old company, little company by a couple of young sick boys from Brampton, outsells Samsung and Apple in that market by factor of two. Guru Maharaj has done this kippa in so many ways. We're now a publicly listed company in the Toronto Stock Exchange. The MIT Tech Review lists us among the 50 smartest companies in the world. Forbes magazine does an annual list of the 15 most impactful social entrepreneurs in the world. They included us in that. We're now, this chart is a little old, we're now about 1,400 people around the world. Almost 1, 1,100 of them are in India. And I get a chance to go around to lots of interesting places and not only talk about innovation, you get a chance to go talk about and show the Sulu In fact, a few months ago, I was invited by Chancellor Merkel of Germany to talk about how to create innovation in German society in a televised thing for about half an hour on German TV. They may not have had any clue of what a sick was before that, but I assure you, I took every opportunity to plug why this is important, why we do this from a security perspective. Uh, I'll just mention the top right corner picture. That's me with uh, former President Vincente Fox of Mexico. And again, it was supposed to be a discussion on innovation, and it ended up being an hour and a half thing that got televised on Mexican TV about spirituality and Sikhism and how that impacts humanity. <coughs> my family thinks I'm out there preaching Sikhism. Oh, no, I'm just selling tablet computers, that's my business. <laughs> what I also discovered was that 
Mr. Manoj has given us this instruction to believe in Raja. Our job is to do the best we can, excel in every way possible. The outcome is not ours. The outcome is determined by the heart. Study as hard as you can, focus on that test, make sure you're going in with the intent of getting that A+, plus, nothing less than that A+. Plus. But the results, whatever they are, they're okay. Don't worry about it. As long as you honest yourself that you made the effort. Jo raaj de ta kabhi mudai, jo peek mangai, ta kya karte hai? This is what Guru Maharaj said. Hey, if Guru Maharaj said that, then to me it makes no difference. Whatever Guru Maharaj will give, my only advice, my only request to Guru Maharaj is, Sache Pacha, Sikhi Suruti, Patra. That's the only thing that matters. That nobody thinks, if I fail, that Suruti, somebody with that school has not succeeded. What I also discovered, very, very important, is this concept of shukrana. We're the luckiest of lucky. We don't realize how lucky we are. We've been given birth into the household of a king of kings. We've been given birth into Sikhi. Like, how cool is that? And if we realize that, and we day and night do shukrana and thank Guru Maharaj for that opportunity, then Guru Maharaj blesses us with his kindness. This is why seva becomes so important. I want to just end with one quick anecdote. And this is again coming back to the school. A lot of young kids ask, so why do we keep geese? And you get lots of different answers. And I'll give you my answer. About three, four years ago, there was a high profile rape in New Delhi. It made all the papers, it was front page news, and so on and so on. And at that time, the chief minister of New Delhi, this elderly lady, said that when we were kids, and we would go out of town, and she and her sister were sent out of town by her father for some trip or something else on an Indian train, he would walk up and down that train at the platform and look in every bogey and every train section and try to find a train section that had a sick in it. And once he found a section that had a sick in it, he would put his daughters into that section, knowing and feeling safe, not just that he wouldn't do anything wrong, but he wouldn't let any harm come to his daughters. And this is a very important concept. Our job isn't to be passive. Our job is to be activists. Our job is to stand up for what is right. That's our job. This is our obligation. The sons and daughters of the Gobind Singh, we have to act in means that will reflect the glory of the Gobind Singh. But what if you went up and down the train carts <coughs> And you said, Nini, Nini, Sikhi, Tabe, Andara, eh? Right? If you didn't have that salute, how does he know where to find you for that purpose? The world should know when that there's evil, somebody with a Sikhi salute stands up. That's what the world should know. And that's our obligation. And that's why we need our case, and that's why we need to understand. Why have you got caught? Why have you got caught?